Bride mocks black groom at altar for being fat. Then the unthinkable happens. Ethan Jackson stood nervously at the altar, his heart pounding in anticipation. The church was filled with friends and family, all gathered to witness his marriage to the love of his life, Chloe Williams. Ethan was a black man with a kind heart, a successful career, and a love for Chloe that knew no bounds. However, he also struggled with his weight for most of his life, a battle that left him self-conscious and often anxious in social situations. As Chloe began her walk down the aisle, Ethan's heart swelled with pride and joy. She looked stunning in her elegant white gown, and he felt a wave of emotion, realizing that in just a few moments she would be his wife. Chloe was the epitome of beauty and grace, and Ethan often marveled at how lucky he was to have her in his life. Chloe, however, harbored a secret resentment. Despite her love for Ethan, she was often embarrassed by his weight. She worried about what others thought and wished he could look more like the fit athletic men she saw on social media and in her social circles. This insecurity gnawed at her, and as she walked down the aisle, her mind raced with conflicted emotions. As Chloe reached the altar, she smiled at Ethan, but it was a forced smile, hiding the turmoil within her. The ceremony began, and the officiant led them through the traditional vows. Ethan's eyes never left Chloe's face, filled with love and devotion. When it was time for Chloe to say her vows, she hesitated for a moment, glancing around the room nervously. She took a deep breath and began, but her words shocked everyone in the room. Ethan, she said, her voice wavering, I love you, but you need to do something about your weight. It's embarrassing for me, and I don't know how much longer I can handle it. The congregation gasped in unison, their faces reflecting disbelief and discomfort. Ethan's heart shattered at her words. He felt the blood drain from his face, and his vision blurred with unshed tears. The room fell silent, the joyous atmosphere replaced by a heavy tension. Ethan's mother, sitting in the front row, looked horrified, her eyes wide with shock. Friends and family exchanged bewildered glances, unable to comprehend what they just heard. Chloe's parents, too, looked deeply uncomfortable, clearly unprepared for their daughter's harsh words. Ethan, struggling to keep his composure, took a deep breath and tried to respond. Chloe, I love you, and I've always tried to be the best I can for you. But if my weight is something that makes you unhappy, we need to talk about it. Not like this. Not here. Chloe's face turned red with a mix of embarrassment and anger. We've talked about it before, Ethan, and nothing has changed. Maybe this will finally make you take it seriously. The officiant, sensing the need to intervene, cleared his throat and attempted to steer the ceremony back on track. Perhaps we should take a moment, he suggested gently, to compose ourselves. But before anything more could be said, a sudden unexpected event interrupted the proceedings. The grand double doors of the church swung open with a loud creak, and a group of people entered, led by a man in a sharp suit. The congregation turned to see who it was. Their curiosity peaked. The man stepped forward, his presence commanding attention. I'm sorry to interrupt, he said, his voice resonating through the hall, but I have something important to share. He introduced himself as Marcus Thompson, a renowned motivational speaker and life coach. I've been working with Ethan for the past few months, he continued, helping him to embrace who he is and to become the best version of himself. Ethan looked at Marcus in surprise. He'd met Marcus at a work event months ago and had attended a few of his workshops, but he hadn't expected him to appear at his wedding. Ethan has made incredible strides, Marcus said, turning to address the congregation. He's been working hard to improve his health, both physically and mentally, but more importantly, He's learning to love himself for who he is, regardless of his weight. The room was silent, everyone hanging on Marcus's words. Chloe looked bewildered, unsure of what to make of the sudden turn of events. Ethan, Marcus said, looking directly at him, you have nothing to be ashamed of. You are a remarkable man, and you deserve to be treated with respect and love. Ethan felt a surge of emotion. He'd struggled with self-acceptance for so long, and hearing these words in front of everyone he cared about felt like a lifeline. He stood taller, feeling a newfound sense of pride and strength. Marcus then addressed Chloe directly. Chloe, it's clear that you love Ethan, 
but love means accepting someone as they are. If you truly care about him, you need to support him, not tear him down. Chloe's face turned pale. She opened her mouth to respond, but no words came out. The weight of Marcus's words and the realization of what she had done hit her hard. Marcus turned back to Ethan. You deserve happiness, Ethan. You deserve someone who sees your worth and loves you unconditionally. If that's not Chloe, then you need to find the strength to walk away. The congregation held its breath, waiting to see what would happen next. Ethan, his eyes filled with a mix of sadness and determination, turned to Chloe. Chloe, he said softly, I love you, but I can't marry someone who doesn't respect me. I deserve better. With those words, he turned and walked down the aisle, leaving the church and a stunned Chloe behind. The congregation remained silent, processing the unthinkable turn of events. As Ethan stepped outside, he felt the weight of the world lift off his shoulders. He knew he had made the right decision. He didn't know what the future held, but he was ready to face it with confidence and self-respect. Back inside the church, Chloe stood frozen at the altar, her mind racing. She realized the gravity of her actions and the hurt she had caused. Tears streamed down her face as she watched the man she loved walk away, knowing she had lost him. In the weeks that followed, Ethan focused on his personal growth and well-being. He continued his sessions with Marcus, working on his physical health and building his self-esteem. The support from his friends and family was overwhelming, and he began to see himself in a new light. Chloe, on the other hand, was left to reflect on her behavior. She sought counseling to understand her insecurities and to learn how to build healthier relationships. She reached out to Ethan, apologizing for her actions and expressing her regret, but Ethan knew that he needed to move forward and focus on his own happiness. Months later, Ethan stood before a crowd speaking at one of Marcus's motivational events. He shared his journey from the struggles with his weight to the painful experience at the altar. But more importantly, he shared how he had found the strength to love himself and to stand up for his worth. The audience listened intently, inspired by his story. Ethan's courage and resilience resonated with many, and his message of self-acceptance and empowerment struck a chord. As he finished his speech, the room erupted in applause, a testament to his strength and determination. Ethan's life had changed dramatically, but he knew that the unthinkable events at his wedding had set him on a path to true self-discovery. He'd learned that love must start from within, and that respecting oneself is the foundation for any meaningful relationship. Chloe continued her own journey of self-improvement, learning to address her insecurities and to be more compassionate. She and Ethan eventually found closure, and though they did not rekindle their relationship, they both grew from the experience. Ethan's story became a beacon of hope for many who struggled with similar issues. He used his experience to help others, speaking at events, writing about his journey, and supporting those who needed encouragement. His life was filled with purpose, and he found joy in helping others find their own strength. In the end, Ethan realized that the unthinkable events at his wedding had been a blessing in disguise. They led him to a life of self-love and fulfillment, a life where he was truly happy, and for that he was forever grateful. Have you ever faced a situation where you had to stand up for yourself in a difficult moment? How did it impact your life and your self-esteem? Share your story in the comments below.